this is the wrong one. Like it says platform three on there, but then across the way it says T2211. That's the time that our train is getting in from Batumi. Yeah, what did it? What time is They kick us out, they probably would kick us out right now. And hopefully not at the Georgia Armenia border at two in the morning. I just want to get going. We're Nicole Amigo. In 2021, we decided to take the leap and try our nine to five jobs in order to travel full time. We believe travel is one of the best ways to build understanding between people. So we've hit the road on a journey to learn more about new cultures, unique places, and different foods. We'd love for you to join us, and if you're interested in coming along, you'll find new videos here twice a week. Nicole Amico here. And today we've got a big travel day heading over to Armenia, but right now we're starting in Georgia. We've got to take a van over to Tbilisi and then we're going to take an overnight train there. So let's go. Darn, hon, you got it. You can't bring out your hookah. Today? Got a ticket. Ready to go. Success. Oh, that hurts. Because the driver of the marshuka was smoking. It just makes everything so much worse. If you get travel sick. Marshukas are not your friends. There's even a sign that said, no hookahs are smoke smoking on board. <laughs> no hookahs. They always say that. But then if the driver smokes, it's like free game. Oh, whatever. It just means I suffer. Maybe my medication will kick in soon. So you decided to get some comfort food? Yeah. Maybe this will help. Some expensive fries. And water. And coffee. One of those three things will hopefully fix me. <laughs> Alright, so now that I am caffeinated, we can tell you that we got our tickets. So excited. We were a little nervous that uh, we wouldn't be able to get our hands on these because typically they say you need to pick them up a couple of days before you get on the train. We get on the train in like six hours. Um, but we got lucky, obviously, no issues. It's an overnight train. So we hop on and we should arrive in Armenia like 7.30 the next morning. Uh, we do a border crossing somewhere in there. That's always interesting. But we're look really looking forward to it. It's our first ever overnight train. Gotta figure out what platform are you going to? Caravan. What are you? Oh, platform two. Let's go there. How do you know which platform you're on? I don't know. It's two and three. It's two and three, but then which one's two and which one's three? I think this means platform two, yeah? Is that how you would read that? I two? think so. And three. I don't think it's here yet. I think this is the wrong one. Like it says platform three on there, but then across the way it says T2211. That's the time that our train is getting in from Batumi. So I think it's over there. Oh no, 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 wait, just kidding. Look, now it's on our side. <laughs> I wish there was a big sign that said what platform this was. Maybe there is and we're just missing it. I, I think mean, we're in the right That place. seems like the bare minimum for a train station, right? To tell you yeah. which platform you're on? Well, seeing as there's not a single train here, we would hope that we'd catch the right one at the very least. You know what's awesome? It's 27 degrees outside. It's 10 o'clock in the evening. That is fantastic. It's so nice not to be cold right now. There we go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one's ours, the Definitely. top one. Okay, we're waiting for the train to arrive. It is just about 10 p.m. Uh, the train is supposed to come in like 15 minutes. Stays here for 30 minutes, we get to board. So far, we're good, we're here. No one else is here, but we're here. <laughs> Hopefully we're in the right spot. <laughs> we're pretty sure we are. Um, yeah, now we just have to not miss it, which I think is gonna be hard to do. I'll look over there, and you look over there, and we can't miss it between the two of us. <laughs> Take 
tickets in hand? A lot of tickets. Okay. Hopefully this is the right train. No. Oh, look, there's a lady who's gonna check, so at least if it's wrong, we'll know. This way? Okay. I think it's all the way? Yeah, it's what it. What wants us. We have walked back and forth four times already. <laughs> I don't know which side of the train we're supposed to be on. We literally tried all the doors they're directing us to. Let's try this one again. Maybe this door? Yeah. Let's hop in anyways. I mean, I think we're in carriage seven. Ah, here's a seven and eight. Okay. Seven and eight. Sit down. Yeah. Come. Thank you. Oh. Maybe this is us, seven eight? Yeah. How are these beds? <laughs> but like, look, there's no beds. <laughs> I think they convert. Cool. First impressions? Cool. I just like don't understand the geometry of the beds. How are they gonna make beds? It, they look too small. First impressions for me, it is hot. <laughs> I don't know. I think the AC is working. I can hear it working. But it is still really hot in here. I'm knackered. We haven't even left yet. A lady came by and she said she wanted to check our documents and she said she'll come back later to do it after we start running. Hopefully it's to just check over our visa and our vaccination cards, but if they kick us out, they probably would kick us out right now. And hopefully not at the Georgia-Armenia border at 2 in the morning or whenever, whenever we get there. I just want to get going. I just want to convert this into a bed. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> 10.45 on the dot, we left. I am super impressed. Goodies. They came by with some goodies for us. Okay, so we each have one. Snickers, oh, a comb. That's amazing. So Toothpaste, toothbrush. Hello, gangs. That's awesome. Ow. Oh, itty bitty, face towel. <laughs> and then sheets for the bed. Yeah. Perfect. Alright, welcome to our home for the next 10 or so hours. We actually took a first class ticket on the train, which is super unusual. We are, for the most part, super budget travelers and we pinch pennies all the time. But we do that so that every once in a while we can have some nice, cool, unique experiences. And this is one of those. Not exactly the most giant of rooms, but it's perfect for us. We have a lovely table, little drink cutouts. I think that's pretty cool. DVD lights. Um, what else do we got in here? The window that actually opens, I'm glad because it's hot. It's supposed to be air conditioned and like, it's not boiling, but it's pretty warm in here. See, we've already moved in. Yeah, we moved in. <laughs> a TV! How fancy! We don't even usually have a TV there, we have we stay. A couple of pillows. I think this is like meant to be storage. There's also storage like underneath the seats. Yeah, you can fit lots of stuff under there, especially our stuff, because we travel with just a small backpack. But yeah, I think that's about it. Also, this looks like a mirror, which is, I think, kind of cool. I think that's about it for here. We got some lights, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's gonna get pretty dark in here. Oh. Oh, I think that's a shade. Look at this. Oh. Oh, nice. That's it's, how. This is a new train. Yeah, this is a new train. It just feels clean and yeah, there's no, there's no weird smells. <laughs> so, okay, now let's try and put down the beds. <laughs> cool. Oh, it's tiny. I think so. Oh, wow. That's like half a single. <laughs> Pretty small. Yeah, it's tiny. <laughs> For some reason, it's shocking. I really thought it was going to be a little bigger. the bathroom. We are in the washroom of the first class train. There's a full shower. I'm not actually pretty impressed. And I'll flip this around. Boom. The mirror. Sink. <laughs> Nothing fancy, but it'll do. And it's actually super clean. Although, we've only been at work for an hour and a half, so I think that's why. We are 
slowing down like a lot. I think we are about to leave Georgia. We're almost at the border. Shouldn't be too long now. It'd be nice to get past the border so that we can go to sleep. I think we're at the Georgia-Armenia border now. And somebody came around and knocked on everybody's doors to make sure everybody's awake. So I also heard them say pasporto, which I'm pretty sure means we need to get our passport out. So I think this is, uh, yeah, 120 in the morning is uh, right about the time that you hit the Georgia Armenia border on an overnight train. They let us in. Just kidding. I didn't think they were gonna. <laughs> But they did, <laughs> which is exciting. For some reason, it never gets less exciting to have a, the immigration officer stamp your passport. But yeah, totally successful. It was easy. They came in and did like a customs check, went through our bags a couple of times, and uh, asked us if we had anything of Turkish origin, and then uh, came through and stamped our stuff, which is awesome. It is now 1.30 a.m. We are totally knackered, but uh, it's been fun. And these beds are super comfy, so. Now we get to have like six hours until we arrive in the capital of Armenia, Yerevan. Almost in Yerevan. We're really, really close now. I kind of slept. I kind of slept. I didn't think we'd fall asleep at all. It's Even though comfy. It's, yeah, it's really comfy. But with the train moving a lot and and like turning left and right, it kind of feels like sometimes you're getting pushed to one side of the bed, sometimes you're getting pushed to the other. So I didn't think I'd fall asleep, but then eventually, at probably around three or four in the morning, caused a little bit of shut eye. Yeah, and then around six. 40, someone knocked at our door and said we're gonna be there in 20 minutes, which is 30 minutes early. So yeah, <laughs> I guess it's nice to get there early. But when you were yeah. sleeping soundly, it's like oh no, I want more. Should I? Overall, I'd say it was a pretty comfy experience. Yeah, really good. Not a bad way to kind of get a travel day and a night accommodation in one. Mm -hmm. So true. All right, now I gotta go find our accommodation. The last step of this very long day. So it was a little tricky to make our way to our accommodation. The first taxi guy who approached us at the train station asked for like more than five times uh, what it should cost to get to where we were going. Yeah, it's a good thing we checked online what it should cost to go from the train station to the center of Yerevan. Otherwise we would have paid a small fortune. We did not, that's good. Um, but it took us a little bit to get there and then uh, we were starving and we needed coffee. <laughs> so yeah. we are caffeinated and we are Nice and full. First impressions of the city so mm. far, especially coming in through the train, is that it was gorgeous. Especially early in the morning, mm. uh, the fog rolling over the hills, and then you can see a couple mountains in the distance. That looks so good. Yeah, we're really excited to explore the country some more. We've got a couple of days in the capital before we head out to rural Armenia, which is yeah. what we're super stoked for, I think. All right, we'll see you there. Till next time. Right now, we're in Georgia in a small town called al -Kahitsi. Sike, al -kasike. That hurts. That's a really good sound. Two, three. So three. <laughs> I feel like we're in Melbourne. Nicole is gonna walk us through a room tour. Here I am. I mean, yes, I am. Hello. Hello. Al Also, 